Hello everyone and welcome to Lavalia's Coloring. How are you all doing? I hope that you are doing well. This video is going to be part 8 of all of my completed coloring series. This is an updated version of the one that I did back in 2019 when I first started this channel. So back then I only had three videos and I am now up to eight. So in this one, I am going to be concentrating on mandalas, color by numbers, and the spiral dots and lines coloring books. And I am going to have a part nine, which is going to be the rest of my Amazon printed coloring books. And then whatever's left over and my PDFs is going to be part 10. So I'm hoping to get those done next week, uh, trying to get that done before we move in the first week of August. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off with the mandala coloring books. So I'll see you all in a few seconds. So we are starting off with creative coloring mandalas and this is by Valentina Harper. So I did get this at my local Goodwill store and I have a whip in this book and I started this sometime in January or maybe February this year. So I just had to get back to it and complete it. I was using the Tombow dual brush markers and I still have the, the reds set aside to complete this area. I think it just got a little bit um, tedious because I was doing a lot of shading with those Tombow markers but I like how it looks so it's not like I can stop. <laughs> Once I started I kind of have to continue it for the rest of them. I just have to yeah just have to complete this. So this is my whip in creative coloring mandalas by Valentina Harper. So before I continue on with the next book, I just want to let you know that a majority of the books that I'm sharing in this video were colored in with alcohol markers and that's from the Bix and Sharpies to my Ahuhus, Lemishes, Artizas, and the other brands that I have of alcohol markers. And I also use a lot of glitter gel pens. So from Sakura Stardust to the flares, I also have the Aeon Art Set. So a lot of glitter gel pens. I did use some water-based markers, but not so much in this collection. So let me go ahead and continue with the next book. So the next book is 101 Unique Mandalas by Camellia Angel Kova. The first coloring is the nameplate page and it's done with alcohol markers and glitter gel pen. Very sparkly. I love the colors of this one. Next is this one. So this one was colored in with Prismacolor Premier colored pencils and then I use the Gamsol to smooth it out. I think that's the last time I tried to color with <laughs> Prismas uh, in this book or in the Amazon paper because even though I like how it looks, I love the colors that I chose and how it blends, it just took too long to complete this one. So that one and then here's the next one. I think this was done with the Sharpie's Mystic Gem colors and then there's some glitter gel pen around the border and on the feathers. And then one more is this page. Again, markers and then you can see the gel pen in the little accents all around the shells and the waves. So those are my colorings in 101 Unique Mandalas by Camellia Angel Kova. I have another by Camellia Angel Kova. This one is 50 Nighttime Mandalas. And this is the first page, the nameplate page. And it is done with markers and metallic gel pen. 
And then I have another in here. Very bright. And same metallic gel pen and markers. They have lovely mandalas in this book. But I just don't like that my book curls. It's annoying when I can feel it just riding up here and then all of the streaks because it's supposed to be a, a nighttime mandala. I wish it was just black and not just like gray. But yeah, so this one is 50 Nighttime Mandalas by Camellia Angel Kova. Next, I have Flowers and Dreams, a coloring book of beautiful botanical symmetry illustrated by C.L. Aldridge. I have one coloring in here that I copied onto this cardstock, which is the Canson Illustration Pad. And I think this was when I first received the Arteza Everblends and I was trying out blending so this was my first completed coloring blending with just alcohol markers and yeah it was a lot of fun coloring in here i like how it blends so i was trying different colors just using the arteza ever blends so that is my completed coloring in the flowers and dreams by cl aldridge Here is the Creative Haven Flower Mandalas Coloring Book by Marty Noble. And I have several in this book. So here is the first one, alcohol marker with a metallic gel pen. This one is with a glitter gel pen. I like these colors. And this one, again, same thing. It's hard to see, but the lightest color here is the glitter gel pen. And this one is with a metallic gel pen. But yeah, I like the backing of this one compared to the 50 nighttime mandalas. This one is like a flat black color and you're not distracted by the streaks going down, so. Yeah, so anyways, that is my completed colorings in Creative Haven Flower Mandalas by Marty Noble. My next colorings are in the Coloring Kawaii Mandala Magic Volume 1 by Danny Banani of Unusual Suspects. This book is now under a different title that you may be familiar with. I think it's like Yippee Kawaii. I think that's what it is. Um, I actually received this as a Christmas gift back in 2019 from my little sister. So um, now it's a different title, all the same illustrations. So my first coloring that I'll share is this one. So this mandala is called Baking Buddies and you can see a little bit of streaking with the blender. I colored this mandala in with the Tombow dual brush markers and then lots of glitters from the Zig Wink of Stella and we have various uh, glitter gel pen and then my next coloring is can find it is the Pokey Pals and I believe this is one of my first colorings that I blended with just a hoo hoo markers so this one so so cute so those are my completed colorings in coloring kawaii mandala magic volume one by danny banani my next coloring is in this coloria mandalas coloring book so coloria is a french publisher really like how this is spiral bound on the top. I did the last page here and I think I used this as a example for one of my videos. So again, alcohol markers, some metallic glitter gel pen, and then I wanted a black background so I did a matte black acrylic. So that is my completed coloring in Gloria's mandalas coloring book. 
I have another Caloria coloring book. This one's called Mandala Mystery, and this is a Mandala color by number coloring book. So Caloria sent this book to me to share on my channel, so I do have a flip through and a speed coloring of one of the illustrations in this book that I'll share. I'll leave the link up above if you want to check it out and in the video description. So the first one I'll share is this nameplate page. And again with markers and then for the white areas I colored in with some glitter gel pen and then the next one another with several different kinds of markers and then glitter gel pen so uh, I did make a mistake here I forgot to color in this area the light beige and then I was coloring in the glitter um, gel pen and when I got up to here I realized that I was coloring in the wrong section so I created a shape like this and then continued it on to the rest of the mandala I also added some glitter in the outside part but yeah I love the colors of this one then I have one more and this is the mandala that I did a speed coloring of and then for this one for the white areas I added stickles just wanted to add a little bit of sparkle to this mandala so those are my colorings in the mandala mystery coloring book by Coloria my next colorings are in lots of dots and it's illustrated by Anna and Sheena. I purchased this book at Book Outlet, which is a lot cheaper than getting it anywhere else, I believe, like at Amazon. So this one is like you color whatever the circles are. For instance, let me show you when it's not colored in. So whatever the color of the circle is, that's the color you put in the middle. So I did several, I did this butterfly, and they're perforated so you can take it off if you want, gift it. Here is a tulip, some fall leaves, more leaves, a frog. It's a lot of fun coloring that in. So those are my colorings in Lots of Dots by Anna and Sheena. Next, I'm going to be sharing with you Supernatural Dots, Lines, Spirals coloring book, and this is by Philip Coron. And yeah, Supernatural is one of my favorite series to watch over and over again. I think I've watched the series like three times, and I'm still debating if I should watch it again before the year's out. And yeah, so I did three in here, starting with this one. I instead of starting at the end started in the middle and I did not realize I did it wrong until I was like halfway so I did not want to leave it as an incomplete so I just went ahead and finished it up shared my big mistake on Instagram but then I redeemed myself with this page next one which again is Dean Winchester and then I did one of the dots here and I think this is Joe I'm probably wrong I can't remember I think it's Joe but I feel like I might be wrong but yeah th those are my three colorings in supernatural dots lines and spirals and another <laughs> television series I love is friends so I got the dots lines and spirals coloring book of this one I don't think it says who put it together but I did two pages in the first one I have no idea who it is I can't even tell through the screen um, yeah still no idea who that is the second one is Dermot Mulroney and I did him with glitter gel pens and yeah I need to come back and do more in this book so this is friends dots lines spirals coloring book so next I am going to share with you all of my Amazon printed color by number coloring books starting off with stone mosaic I only have book two this is my only 
coloring book by Belva Family and it is a book that I am trying to complete this year and I only have a couple pages left to do so it should be done either this month or next month but let me go ahead and quickly share with you the pages I've done so the glitter in here I use the Nouveau glitter markers and I did it for several of the pages in here but I stopped using them because it started the paper started fraying the nibs so <laughs> I no longer use them on these Amazon paper and then I use the Crayola metallic on the Eiffel Tower on this page here's a dragonfly see the glitter I don't know a little shimmery. Here's the giraffe. Rose. Sailboat. And the portrait of a woman. And then I have these two to complete. Stick this out. And these are ones that I've completed recently and haven't shared yet on a video. So I'm just going to share it now. This one's so cute. I like the one with the cat. Ice cream. The bird. The frog with the crown. Garden. Native American chief, underwater scene. I don't know what this is, like a jar <laughs> with a tiger face, parrot. This one's pretty, I like this one. And the space page. There's a camping one, and I think, yeah, I should have did colored a darker blue, light, darker light blue. Here's a leaf. I think this is a bulldog, <laughs> dressed up bulldog. A snow globe. Painter's palette and paints. And this one I added glitter. And then a coffee mug. I don't know what this one is. A biscotti or something like that. And I think that is it. Yeah. So that is my colorings in Stone Mosaic Book 2 by the Belba Family. My next colorings are all in the Travel Mosaic Color by Number book. This is by Sun Life Drawing and I completed this book last year. So I do have a video sharing this book and all its completed pages but let me just go ahead and quickly share it with you so i started off this book using water-based markers but then soon switched to alcohol markers but in each of these pages i do use glitter gel pens so this one is india this page is in england this one goes back and forth, so hopefully I don't make any of you dizzy. This one is Australia, Mexico, this one is Russia, this is Chile, Chile I mean, <laughs> probably said it wrong still. This is in Italy. This is in Hong Kong, France, Japan, Vatican City, Brazil, another one in England. Egypt, another Italy page, 
Thailand, Germany, Cambodia, Italy, this one is in Turkey, Spain, France, and this page is the one that my son started, my oldest son, uh, I think he was like maybe 10. And he didn't get that far. He kind of got bored very easily. So I ended up finishing up this page. And then here we have the Great Wall of China. This is in Germany. Oops, sorry. And then USA. I believe this is the last one. So those are the colorings in Travel Mosaic by Sun Life Drawing. The next two books are similar. Only thing is this one has a black background. So these books are called Christmas Mosaic, color by number, and they are from Sun Life Drawing. So I have different pages colored in both of the books, so I'll share them with you. And the first one here is of Santa, and this page is done with water-based markers and some glitter. Same with this one, and I think this one is with the Sparkle Pop. And this one is with alcohol markers and then Sakura Glaze. Very nice. And then with this one with the black background, I started at the end. All with alcohol markers, starting off with this one. Cute. And this one, rabbits, Christmas in July, I think that's what it is. And I think that's it. Yeah. So those are my colorings in the Christmas mosaic color by number coloring books by Sun Life Drawing. I have another Christmas coloring book by Sun Life Drawing. It is the stained glass colored by number. And I have some colorings in here. Here's the first one, little fairies. Next one is this one, the reindeer, bright, bright pink. And in this page, my daughter, my youngest daughter started this first and then I finished it up. And yeah, so those are my completed colorings in stained glass color by number Christmas by Sun Life Drawing. I have another by Sun Life Drawing. This one is Mermaid's Stained Glass color by number. And I only have one in here done, which is the last page. And it's this one. Very pretty. So that is it in Mermaid's Stained Glass color by number by Sun Life Drawing. And then my last one by Sun Life, this one is the Little Witches coloring book. This is the stained glass color by number. And here is one of them. Cute. Oh, I guess my, my daughter finished this one, not me. <laughs> and then this one. And I think that's it. Yeah, I didn't tag anything else. So this one is Little Witches by Sun Life Drawing. My next couple colorings are in the 50 Animal Mandalas coloring book by Such and Such Deva. And I believe this is my only book by Sachin. And I have two colorings in here. Here's the first one. And then the second one that I colored is this one. And I don't know, for me, it kind of bothers me that the sea turtles are all different colors. That's just me. So when I color another in here, if I see that's going to do different colors again, it's kind of like this kind of mandala. I may just switch it up and just use one of the colors. 
but um, yeah, kind of like annoyed with this book because it curls so much, so kind of like stay away from it, but yeah, that's the thing with the Amazon coloring books with the black backing. It's like you never know if you're going to get a flat one or a curled up one. So this one is 50 Animal Mandalas by Sach and Sach Deva. Next color by number book is this one is by Jennifer Rowling. The publisher is Bright Ideas Paper. And I don't think this book is being sold anymore on Amazon, maybe because of the licensing, but this one has 70 plus cartoon characters. And the first one I did here is Bulbasaur. And the sizes of the boxes changes. So some of them are small, some of them are big. So here's the first one I did. Here's a really small one I did of Disney characters. Minnie, Mickey, Donald, and Daisy. And I don't know if I did another one. Oh, yeah, I did. Right here. And this one's even smaller. I did Lisa Simpson. So those are my three colorings in the Color by Number Mosaics Coloring Book by Jennifer Rowling and Bright Ideas Paper. I have another book by Jennifer Rowling and the Bright Ideas paper. And again, I don't know if this book is still being sold on Amazon. This one has 50 cartoon characters and this is also one of my curly books. <laughs> so it refuses to lay down straight. So my first coloring in here is Ursula and I added some Pentel Sparkle Pop on her lips. I didn't want to color the whole background. I want to save my ink. <laughs> so I just did a border for this one. I didn't even try to do a border for the second coloring. So this one is Ariel. And I did not know that this was Ariel. So it was all the characters from Little Mermaid. And this one was also the Pentel Sparkle Pop. And yeah, so those are my two colorings in this Jennifer Rowling Bright Ideas coloring book with 50 cartoon characters. Next, I'm going to be sharing with you my little collection of colored Questopia book. I have three that are black backgrounds and the rest are the regular ones. So I'm going to start off with National Parks. So this one I just completed, but I'm going to be sharing it again in a couple months for all of my completed colorings for both July and August. And the page I did is the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park in Hawaii and with alcohol markers and then the black sakura glaze i like how that glaze looks so yeah so that is my completed coloring in national parks my next by color questopia is witch fantasy and i did one page in here and i did not color in the lines i left it white I did add some metallic gel pen and glitter gel pen with a washi tape border. I did run out of this skin color and ended up using a different color. And then I also came in with pencils to shade in her dress and her skin. So that is my coloring in Witch Fantasy. Next, I have Mythical Mermaids, and I believe this was my first Color Questopia um, coloring book. So I'll start off with this one. This one is with water-based markers and glitter gel pen. And I think her skin was just with markers, skin tone markers. Here's the next one. Oh, this one I started but did not complete. Then I have one more in here, which I did as a buddy color with my good friend Amanda. And this one I used, um, I think I, I put watercolor in here. And then glitter gel pens and then washi tape. So those are my colorings in Mythical Mermaids by Color Questopia. 
Next is Chibi Girls, Anime Color by Number. And I think I only did one in here. Just this one. I don't know about their eyes. I'm not a fan of that one. <laughs> it looks kind of scary. But yeah, with glitter gel pens and then a washi tape border. So that is Chibi Girls by Color Questopia. Next is Christmas Fantasy, and this is the one with the black background. I have one in here, which is this page, with alcohol markers, and then a little bit of the metallic gel pen. So again, this is Christmas Fantasy by Color Questopia. I have another Christmas Color by Number book, and also with black background first one is this one. Here's the other one. And then here's one more. And this one has some glitter bubbles. So this is Christmas color by number with a black background. And my last by Color Questopia is Fantasy Landscapes. This is the black background. And so this page was done with Crayola Super Tips. And yeah, I was kind of confused with the colors that they've chosen for like the mountains and stuff. So yeah, I wasn't sure about that one. So I did another page in here and I was like, yeah, they just want a lot of purple <laughs> so this is done with alcohol markers so those are my two colorings from fantasy landscapes black background by color questopia next i have mandalas color by number by jade summer i think i only did one in here i don't know why uh so here is the color by number and it has some glitter gel pen in there. Very nice color palette. So this one is Mandalas by Jade Summer. Really need to get back in this one. I have another by Jade Summer. This one is Christmas Mandalas. And I have two in here. I have one with the Santas. And this one I also added some Zig Wink of Stella and the stickles. And then the next page, I colored the elves again with some stickles and Zig Wink of Stella. And I wanted to color each of the elves a different skin tone. Very cute. So those are my two colorings in Christmas Mandalas by Jade Summer. My next color by number book is the Fairies Color Counts series by Mindwear. And the page I did in here is this one. So with this page, I used the Arteza Twi markers and then use a water brush to pick up the color um, after I lay it down on a palette. And so it's like a watercolor effect on this one. Then I added some stickles on the stars. Very pretty like this one. So that is my coloring in Fairies Color Counts by Mindwear. I have another Mindwear coloring book. This one is Mythical Fantasy Color Counts. And the first coloring to share is this mermaid page. Very pretty. And then I have one more, which is this one. So this one is Mythical Fantasy Color Counts by Mindwear. Next, I have Relaxing Color. This is a color by number magazine that I found at my local grocery store. And I colored the first page. And I think that was it. I didn't, haven't come back to it. So that is my coloring in the Relax and Color color by number book. Next, I have three magazines and a book 
from Mystery Colors, and I think each of them have only one colored page. Well, a lot of my books have only one uh, completed colorings because I host a color along called Color Your Horde, if you did not know. So I'm trying to go through all of my books and have at least one completed colorings in each of my books. So I'm still on a mission to do that. So that's why a lot of my books only have one completed coloring. So I'm going to start off with Christmas Mystery Colors and my completed page in here is this one with the cookies and milk for Santa. Very cute. So again, this is Christmas Mystery Colors. Next is the Baby Animals. And I forgot to mark it, which is the Koala. Koala is my favorite animal growing up very cute and I think I used pencils for this Arteza's okay I use Arteza and then Gamsol so, this is the baby animals mystery colors and this mystery colors dinosaurs magazine I colored one which is the page my son picked which is this dinosaur and it doesn't have a name for it. But yeah, he liked it because it had some orangey colors in it. So this one is Dinosaurs by Mystery Colors. And the last of my Mystery Colors, this one I think is a combination of two magazines. This one you can get on Amazon. It is by Joe Bartos. And yeah, this one has a thicker paper compared to the ones in the magazines. So I colored this page and I used this page to try out my parkous, which I gifted to one of my nieces because she was starting to draw. And so I wanted to give her markers as a beginning to her um, art supplies. So yeah, so that is my completed coloring in Mystery Colors by Joe Bartos. My next coloring is in Zen Doodle Color by Number book by Deborah Mueller and this one is called Spring Awakening. And the page I colored is this one. And there's some glitter gel pen on here. Yeah, very, very lovely book. Got this through book outlet for a really great price. So again, this is Spring Awakening by Deborah Mueller. I have another Zen Doodle Color by Number book by Deborah Mueller. This is called Stained Glass and I got this also on Book Depository. So I colored the first one with alcohol markers. And yeah, even if I'm, if, even if the alcohol markers is juicy it still likes to leave a streak so I tried that one out and then in the second page I used the Crayola um, twistables and I like this one this is very pretty it was a lot of fun to color and yeah that's it so this one is stained glass by Deborah Mueller Okay, so we're almost done we're getting into my bigger books this one is Harry Potter Spiroglyphics, and this is by Thomas Pavitt. And the page that I colored in here is this one. I won't show you the number. This is Nagini, sorry, there, done with glitter gel pens. This is a random page pick, so yeah, it took me forever to figure out who it was. So that is my completed page in Harry Potter Spiroglyphic by Thomas Pavitt. My other book by Thomas Pavitt is Disney Villain Spiroglyphics and the one I did in here is this one. I forgot what her name is. She's the lamb, the villain in Zootopia. Again done with, I think it was like the Lake Shine glitter gel pen. One pen completed this whole thing. So. That is my completed coloring in Disney Villain Spiroglyphics by Thomas Pavitt. 
I have one more Spiroglyphics coloring book. This is the Music Icons one, again by Thomas Pavitt. And this was a gift. Happy Mail from Michelle, the lovely Michelle. And then uh, the page that was picked was from my daughter. She picked this page for me to do. And let me cover the number. And this one is of the talented Janice Joplin. And I just remembered I was halfway through with this one and because I saw these round glasses I immediately thought of Elton John <laughs> until I completed it and then I realized it was the lovely Janice Joplin and this one I used the Pentel Art felt markers and I really like the glitter gel pen I just like how it's so shiny and sparkly but this one's a lot bigger, so I might have needed two gel pens just to finish this one. But yeah, so that is my completed coloring in Spiroglyphics Music Icons, again by Thomas Pavitt. I have one more by Thomas Pavitt. This is Quirkle's Animals, and I did one coloring, I believe, one, yeah. Right here, again, I did the koala. And these are the colors that I picked for this one. Very cute. I love the koalas. So that is my completed coloring in Quirkle's Animals by Thomas Pavitt. And the last coloring to share in this video is in the Color Quest Extreme Color by Number Coloring Book by Joanna Webster. And I believe I also got this book on book depository and the page that I completed is this I think Timberwolf or a <laughs> I think Husky uh, and yeah I really like this page I love how his eyes just pop out that light blue against all that grays very very nice so yep that's my completed page in color quest the Extreme Color by Number by Joanna Webster. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this part of my series of all of my completed colorings. I do have a part 9 like I said earlier so that's going to be the rest of my Amazon printed coloring books and then the final part should be whatever books is left plus the PDFs that I colored and so I I hope that you guys look out for those two videos. I am hoping to have them recorded and out to you guys next week, but everything's so busy. <laughs> I have my birthday um, this weekend, so I'm going to be busy with family, and then we are also organizing and getting stuff ready for our move in the beginning of August. So uh, I am trying to get at least these videos done this coming week, and so hopefully, I can and I hope that you guys are looking out for it. So uh, I just want to thank you all so much for your patience, especially because the series kind of like spanned several months. And I want to thank you all so much for your support, for watching, for liking, and for commenting. I do want to try to get back to everyone who's commented on all of my videos. I've been very very behind on that just because I'm trying to get a lot of stuff done so I hope you understand uh, I see your comments and I'm trying to get to you guys so once I get some downtime I'm going to try to answer each and every one's comments so again thank you all so so much for your support so I will see you all in my next video please take care keep safe and have many happy colorings Bye-bye.